301, not Nishan. That guy. Not Lars. Doing another revisitation today. Um, you guys know, you guys ever heard of this guy named Chronix? Chronix, the Cron. Named himself after the herbs. Um, I wanted to get into this video as a revisit. He's been highly requested once again. Um, Freeform Friday. Let's get this. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Um, we are doing Freeform Friday today. Artist goes by the name of Chronix. And to start off this Chronix revisitation, I got some Chronix here. This is a pre rolled joint that I got from Pacifico. Who's rolling these things, man? They're fucking. It's a stub nub. It's a stub nose. But this is actually called. The strain is named. It's acid. I've never heard of this strain. Um, not to confuse it with the other strain, LSD. Um, I'm gonna spark this. It's more of a sativa. I gotta fire this up in the name of Chronix so that this dread review can get lit. So good health and get lit, people. This is this is for the live streamers. Tastes pretty nice. Tastes pretty nice. Let's get right into this dread review while we smoke this spliff. Chronix. When we saw Chronix the first time around, we remember Chronix with hair like so, which could have easily came out in the belt from twisting from the dread sponge is always an option to start your dreads like this. Um, as his hair grows out, we noticed that his locks didn't have any retwists happening, no interlock scarring. The new growth is basically afro. And with his length growing and growing, his new growth still staying the same. Afro textured. Um, roots to free forming, you will be asked to embrace this frizziness as much as possible. <coughs> to be honest, I started rocking dreads for the fact that I wanted to wear a tam like this one day. This is a style that has inspired me. And moving from Chronix locks back in the day to where he's at now, I've heard there's been a lot of change. I want to mention here right now on the strain, the ash here is coming out. I mean, it's a good, it's a good spliff, but it's not like the greatest of the strains. Um, looking at where Chronix is at though today, probably more like this. We can see that his locks are very long. Some of them very thin still. But able to tie them up on the roof of his crown quite easily. Do note that his beard is coming in kind of free form as well. Um, looking at some recent pictures of Chronix though, as of recently, we can see his hair coming down the sides here. It almost looks like it's calm going up. The way that it's kind of lifted off the sides. Um, if he is going the route of no separations, then um, this is definitely what is happening. It's Kong going up right here, over here as well. You can kind of see some Kongos at the front. We're looking at his locks close up here. Some are thick, some are thin. Definitely dyed by the sun in some areas. Getting a little thicker on the sides, nonetheless. One thing I don't like is hoodies with dreads. Um, I'm, I'm almost kind of over it at this point because looking at his hoodie, you can see that there's dreads behind his back here. All his dreads don't even fit in the hood. The hoods that come as standardized material from China, they don't fit dreads. They're not meant for extra big heads. So when I see people making prints on hoodies for dreads, it doesn't make sense to me anymore. That's why I stopped making the hoodies and I just go with the crew necks now. Um, Not Nation crew necks, basically, basically the same thing, but without the hood. 
Essentially, I've noticed that um, those are available at the store, by the way, not Nation store. Links in the description. Um, but you can wear a tam. You don't need hoods with dreads. Wear tams. Tams are your next best friend, not hoods. Not hoods. Um, locks tied up on the top of his head, smoking the chalice. Locks down from the top of his head, bunning the chalice. Really cool to see that some are actually standing up. A shot of him rocking his tam. I should send him a not nation tam. Him and his brethren could rock it. The tams are the same shape, uh, meant for more dreads, uh, but you can still rock them if you have fewer dreads. Have his hair tied up. He seems to wear his hair tied up a lot, but he... pineapple top, epic pineapple top. He's got a lot of afro, that's why it's kind of bulbous down here. Battery running low. Uh, looking at the tam here once again. He's got a lot of dreads to fill it up. Um, I used to be obsessed with the way a tam is shaped on your head, but in all reality, it doesn't matter the shape of the tam. You just know that you're growing your dreads and you're keeping them long in there. Soccer man's hair tied up, playing sports. A cup full of buds, of course. Again, hair tied up, almost like a, a, a sock bun but just tied up. Look at this dread that's hanging down here. It's a little bit matted. It's a little bit flat, like a ribbon. No scarring in it, so it's a great shape. Some of these have fishtails at the end. Some are really thin. I like how some of his dreads curl at the ends there. So his length nowadays, almost down to his shoulders. And he's quite voluminous. He's got a lot of dreads on his head. They're very thin and plentiful. Hair tied back, but we can see the shape of his dreads that are sticking out. Definitely a free form shape. It's definitely a free form shape right there. Big ups on the crew neck here. You can see now how he switched to the crew neck, Chronix crew neck, where the dreads fit, and it's a much more professional look than with the hood. So that's wicked to see. I actually would like to rock one. And then again here, hair tied up, skin color is overrated. Lots of locks, lots of them. So it's actually insane how many locks that he, he's got. I mean, I'd say he's closer to the 200 mark, 200 dreads almost on his head. But as he lets him Kong go up, he could drastically bring that number down by having just like six or seven locks on his head but it, it's a good look and it's actually pretty inspiring to see the the crew necks that he's rocking um overall i feel that chronic's dreads are probably like one of my most favorable in the game right now um because they look like the Chief Keef dreads at first, but when you really look at them and pay attention to them, you notice a whole world of difference in his locks. But they look similar, and it shows that you can reach and achieve locks like Chief Keef with methods like Chronix. But not everybody's gotta be twisted like that, getting them twisted up all the time. So, my suggestion, Drake, my suggestion is give your scalp a break and stop getting all the twists happening um, so much. Don't be obsessed with getting it twisted every other week. At least go like three times a year, to be honest. And that's what it ultimately comes down to. So um, just remember with your locks, um, keep, them, keep them conditioned, moisturize with oils when you can, spray it with water. Water even helps as a conditioner as well, like no problem. So a spray bottle, currently I have lavender oil in a spray bottle with water and I use that for a little bit of moisture. Um, the other day in my in my apple cider vinegar rinse video you saw that I used coconut oil to condition my head before I washed it and the trick to conditioning your dreads, conditioning your scalp is to do it before you wash. Most people wash then condition but with dreads you want to condition first 
and then wash so you can get everything out. We don't want to leave in conditioner and moisturizers like other people do with their hair. But I'm going to sign off here. Not locks, not nation. Visit the website. Upload your pictures. Let me know what Guan. Hit me up on Instagram. Stay happy and nappy. And I'll definitely see you guys over on the vlog channel. All the links are in the description. And let me know what you guys think ultimately of Chronics Locks. I'm out. Not nation salute. Peace. The near shine. Kill a body of physique shot.